Hello guys and welcome back to another part in this tutorial series and today we're going to create some preparations um, and next week we're going to finalize this whole system so we can also pick up things and also we had some trouble with when you were switching an item that when it was the same item it won't um, add those two with each other like um, in Minecraft so if you've got 32 of a, st a stack of 32 of uh, stone and you put another stack of 32 in it, it won't stack but we'll just switch and we won't that we won't uh, want that so we are also going to fix that but today we're just going to do a few preparations so the very first one is a public game object background and what we're going to do is that whenever you are in update we are going to do that if the input dot get key down so that means only when you are pressing it so at the moment you press it and not when uh, that you cannot hold it so it won't hide and unhide and hide and show and hide and show and so on so um that's why it is key, key uh get key down and not get key and if you are pressing it it will just set the background which we just created which is like the whole inventory uh, and then set active is going to be the uh, upside of what it is currently so if it is currently not active it will be active and if it isn't active it will be active right now um, so background dot uh, whoops self active active self and here we're going to do an if loop that if background dot active self we're going to say well we're just going to put an um, update inventory so whenever you are picking up new items or something happens um, it will just be right like it should be um, then what we're also going to do so this is just uh, showing the menu and by the way I'm not doing E, which is the normal key because we are going to use E for now for just picking up items. You can switch it later on, um, that's not very important for now. Um, we are also going to create, which is like the main thing we're going to do today, is a new function called public void search for the same item. So this function, it, all it is going to do is whenever you pick up an item, it will just search for all the items and search if you are um, having the same item. Um, and if you haven't uh, the same item, it will see what is the first empty slot where we can put it. So we'll start with the for loop. And this for loop will go through um, the, um, all these slots. And because we know uh, like all the variables from an item, so the item, the count, and the health, what we're going to do is just check if, uh, what we're actually going to do most times is check if the count is, um, isn't is zero already. Because if it is one, which is normally when you pick up an item, or 32 if you pick up a pack or whatever, um, as long as it's more than zero, it means you still got something and we can go on to the next loop, to the next loop, to the next loop. So very first thing we're going to do is check whoops I'm very sorry this is an if statement we're going to check if the current items.id is the same as the id you just got so item.id um, and if it is the same then we are going to say that uh, we're going to uh, see if um, the item count items so from the one in the slot already we're going to see if the count is less than 64 you can increase this number to whatever number you want uh, this is just well the most used number so if this 64 or if this more what technically cannot happen but just imagine if something happens um, we'll just make sure that it won't add to this stack uh, so it will just go to the next one to the next one to the next one 
But if it is, it will check if um, it will just put to the items dot count. And we're going to add the count we just got from the uh, preview, the item we just picked up. So from the item we just called in this uh, function. But now what can happen is that um, you already got 50 and you added 20, so we got more. So whenever it is more, we need to say that, so count, it is more than 64. It's not the same because if it is exactly the same, it doesn't matter. But if it is more than 64, we will say that the count is the same as items dot count. So this is like the count of the slot, for example, 70 minus 64. So it means you still got six left and those other six will just go into the next loop uh, until it will find another item of the same ID. And we'll just put it there or in an empty slot, but we're going to program that within a minute. Then we're going to put here an items i dot count is 64 because that's the max and we know it's more than the max so we know for sure it will be 64. Um, but if it isn't what we're going to do is we are going to say that the count is zero and we are going to just um, say we'll just end this for loop here so what we're going to say just uh, there's another way and better way but this is a little bit better to understand we're just going to say that i is max count and a for loop works like we will start with a number it will go on until uh, this statement uh, isn't true anymore and every time we will add one so if this if i is the same as max count it means is it uh, it is the same as max count so the statement is false and so it means it will just end this for loop and it will go on to the next for loop uh, to the next uh, if statement and from there to the next for loop because if your count is still more than zero it means that you don't have any items currently with the same id i'll do a for loop to search for the very first empty um, so what you're going to do is you are going to do a for loop and int uh, whoops i is zero and it is um, Need to be less than max count so we got exactly the same um, for loop and we'll add every time one and what we're going to do here is if an items dot id so actually what we uh, dot i dot id is the same as zero so it means that if it is empty, because we said that zero just means empty, we will say i is max count. And before that, before we will, because this will empty loop again, we will say at item at um, slot number. I, so that's the one we're currently checking. Um, the item, the count, and the health. I think that's those uh, three variables are pretty straightforward. Um, so now we've got like the search for uh, same items. Um, this is almost going to be everything for this time. Next time we are going to create that you will, uh, whenever you are. Um, switching an object so you're just moving another object and it will be on the same stack or the same id it will just put those two stacks together um, at least if this uh, together it is less than 64. Um, also uh, next time we're going to make sure that the whole pickup system will work because we need a new script for that um, and i really hope you guys enjoy the series if you do please leave a like and to subscribe will be really much appreciated and see you guys next time. Bye.